Hi there, welcome to this video. Just a quick one from me giving an analysis of paper one, which was sat on Tuesday. I've worked through it and I'll go through the topics that were on it and then have a look at some likely topics for paper two. So how did paper one go? There were 15 questions in total. And as the exam board had said, they were going to start it with some opening questions that were on familiar topics. And it wasn't till question eight that there were any parts in a question that were worth anything more than five marks. So question eight, part B, I think it was, was worth six marks. And then, of course, towards the end, there were some harder, trickier questions. But all in all, most people came out saying they were happy with it and it was a fairly fair paper. So here's a list of the topics as you worked your way through paper one, had to do some integration for question one. And as long as you did a little bit of manipulation before you started, that was fine. And then the factor theorem question two, magnitude of vector small, angle approximation and finding the equation of a tangent. The trapezium rule solving a pair of linear simultaneous equations was fairly straightforward and quite nice. The log rules was a little bit tricky part C. The functions and the radians um, was OK. The geometric sequence sum to infinity you do get on the formula sheet. Question 10, the circle geometry, including using the discriminant to find a range of values for K so that the straight line just had two distinct points where it crossed the circle was a little bit long and, and tricky but it was okay the exponential modeling the linearization that was fine and if you'd done adequate revision you should have seen questions like that did we remember how to differentiate sine x from first principles you'd either looked at that or, or you hadn't but you could try and puzzle your way through then question 13 the quadratic modeling versus the trig modeling that was quite tricky and a long question as was the quotient rule one at the end but plenty on there for um, you to pick up marks as you went through and you know we're going to get some harder questions at the end we're going to expect that but even the proof one there at the end um, you didn't have to prove it by exhaustion but that's the way I did it um, but it was okay so all in all a fair paper let's just hope paper two is as well so based on what was not on paper one here is a brief list of areas to focus on for paper two but these are just broad headings for example the binomial expansion there's different types of questions that you can get within that whether it's year one or year two type questions and I've just noticed in the integration section here I've not included integration as a limit of a sum so be sure to you know even expand on this list don't keep to this brief list um, do lots of revision and practice and lots to work for for paper two now, if you've watched any of my videos that I've prepared already, there are plenty of questions that do include these topics. So be sure to go back and watch them. But maybe you can just skip over to just look at potential topics for paper two. So remember, paper one is only worth one third. There's plenty of work and things that you can focus on for paper two. Do like and subscribe and um, keep an eye out because I'll put some more videos on to help you prepare for paper two and paper three. Hope you're finding these useful and I will see you on the next one.